Savior Jesus Christ. It's really nice to be with you once again. Today I'm here to talk about love. Love. We hear a lot about love every time. Every time we go to church, we hear about this word called love. Wherever we go, people talk about love one another. Love your neighbor. Love your friends. But how many of us in the real life truly follow it? How many of us in the real life truly love one another? How many of us in the real life truly love your neighbor? What does the Bible say? Let's turn our Bibles to 1 John chapter 4 and verse 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. The Bible clearly says, once again I would like to read this out for you. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. If God is in you, if you truly love God, if you truly read the Bible every day and follow the commandment, you would love. Let's think about love. Let's start from a father and mother. How many of us nowadays truly love your father and mother? What does the Bible say? Love your father and love your mother. How many of us are truly loving your father and mother nowadays, my dear brother and sister? I see nowadays, we visit so many families nowadays. I see so many children, they don't love their parents. They really don't love their parents. With time, they only ask one question. What did they do to us? What did they do to us? I'm earning. I worked and I'm living. My father has never done anything to me. My dear brother and sister, I would like to tell you at this moment, if you're on this planet, it's only because of your father and your mother. They gave you birth. And Bible says clearly that you should love your father and mother. In Bible there's nothing as such that you should love a good father or a good mother. It says you should love your father and mother. No matter what they do. Maybe they're not able to love you so much. Maybe they're not able to give whatever you want. But just for one reason, you're on this planet, is through them. You should love your father and mother. And then your brothers and sister. With time, as you grow old, how many of us are truly loving your brothers? Let's turn our Bible and see what Bible says. Same chapter. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 20. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God, whom he has not seen? My dear brother, what happens? We get older. The next question comes is money. All that people are running nowadays is all about money. All for money and for pleasures and for name and for fame. My dear brother and sister, if you want money, if you want fame, you can't love God. You have to choose. You either want the world or you either want the God. If you want God, you need to truly love Him. And if you want to love Him, you have to show your love to your parents. You have to show your love to your father. You have to show your love to your mother. You have to show your love to your brother and your sister. The Bible clearly says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. How much we love ourselves? We are on this planet. We are living for ourselves. Are you living for your father? Are you living for your mother? Are you living for your brother? Are you living for your sister? No. Nobody is doing that. My dear brothers and sisters, today take some time take some time and pray to God ask God for forgiveness ask God to forgive you and love your father from now on love your mother all that I see nowadays people run after is money all that people run after is fame all that people run after is fame that's not forever it's for a very limited time my dear brother and sister but you have an eternal life you have a life after death. What's important is to love God. God so loved the world. He came himself for us. Let's see what Bible says. Same chapter. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 11. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us 
and his love has been perfected in us. My dear brother and sister, I would like to end it now. All I want to say, love your father and mother and your brothers and sisters and your family, by which you can show love. And if you want to love, you need to learn how to forgive. We talk about forgiveness. We talk about forgiveness, but no one knows the true meaning of forgiveness. Forgiveness means you need to bury the issue or the concern you had with your brother or sister or whoever then and there and let go of it and live a new life. Because God loved us. God forgave our sins. We are sinners. I am a sinner. God forgave my sins. If God could forgive me, why can't you forgive? If God could forgive me, if God could forgive you, why can't you forgive others? I take a little time right now and let's pray. I want you all to pray right now. You want to love God? You truly want to show the love of God? You need to follow it by living up to the expectations. Let's pray. God our Heavenly Father, we come into your presence in this very precious moment. Thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity, O Lord. We talk about love. We talk about love so much, but we do not practice it. Please give us the knowledge to practice love. And let us show love. Let us show God's love to others. My dear brothers and sisters, please pray and read the Bible and be in the church and live with God. Show God's love by loving others. Amen.